Alright, hey guys, how's it going? So here we are with our round two of Chaos Arena, our first Chaos show. Arena run, with our scout deck, and uh, tried to get it off, but <laughs> and brutal, bloody Mr. Gwiggle, Gwil, how do you pronounce that guy's name? <laughs> this should be good. Alright, I haven't seen this one yet either. I found three, of the greatest three heroes. heroes oh, I've seen this one. Uh, fortifications guard here have plus one. Alright, I've seen this one. Cool, so we're going to get three random legendaries. So, we can hopefully see what he got. Uh, oh, cool. two Taz now. Uh, Red Brahmin. Ooh, man. Oh, God. Late, late game. Two Taz cats, though. That's sick, right? Two. Uh, unique legendaries at that, right? That is cool. They don't call it Chaos Arena for nothing, right? And we do have the uh, ring again, so uh, we should have won that last game. But maybe Mr. Gwigalookers will uh, have pity on us. May you walk on warm sands. Alright, eh? Good tidings, citizen. I see your Spriggan and I match your Spriggan. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we could throw the necklace on that to keep it on, but I mean pff, There's a play. There's that's not. always a play. Do we wanna do that or we just want a fighter's guild to contest his profiteer? Sucks that we're getting all these late game cards already. Mm, no, that won't work anyways. So never mind. What can he have? An execute, Markwater Witch. Okay. And. Please give us a lower cost card. Oh god. Well, uh, we don't have a choice, do we? That sucks. May the fate smile on Kaji. I implore. So, okay. I guess we have a reason to shadow fan now, right? Oh, never mind. Gosh, you know, I really don't want to throw this out. But it's our only play, we gotta get something on the board. You know, I mean, it's really the same thing, right? This can test that better, though. It'll leave us something on the board. You must be really don't want to do this. But. We just had a very shitty draw. And that could set us up to lose this game. We have anything on curve except for our first drop. <laughs> we gotta finish off. Alright. Just follow the trail. Good thing we have our Spectre. Red Brahmin. Only you cost a little less. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Comes to us all. I think we need to get some of his health total down, right? Even if we necklace that, it still only has three, still goes away. Hmm. I think Mother we. Of mine. I th I think we can win this control game here. Because we, we got some good cards coming up. This guy's going to get... Um, if yeah, I he's going to get a nice buff. Well. Not anymore. Shit. That really throws a monkey wrench in our plans, doesn't it? Um, so, I want to get him out of the way. I don't want to throw that over there, that's for sure. Go ahead and do... Mm. 
We throw Merrick down? I mean, are we ever going to have enough creatures on the board to really benefit from this? Or do we just throw this down? Skip a turn. Now, let's just Merrick. Hope we get something good. We are ready for battle. Okay. Mm. We shackle this. Okay, and next turn, I really don't want to waste this, but if we, we can throw it on this to clear that out, we can throw down our tyrant. Or we can just abandon that lane for now and just start going to town over here. You know, we got Red Brahmin coming up, Swamp Leviathan coming up. Come and visit your judgment. Hmm. Wonder why you picked that card. Get them! Chaos, thank you. Alright, so we seriously need to think about it very soon here. Um Yeah, Swamp Leviathan, so we'll do this. And glory. Oh, I forgot I had that weapon on there. Uh, putting that on there will save him. Then we'll be able to drop nothing big. So let's just go ahead and do it. I'm not really worried about this yet. Do Swamp Leviathan. Okay, we could do a Snake Teeth Necklace on this guy next turn. And that'll get us back up in life a little bit. Red Brahmin coming up. Chaos, thank you. These are Kajit streets. So we will mummify that. We could put this over here to take care of that, so that way we can get max value out of this. Um, let's do this first. Slap that on there. Really did not want to break the rune, but you know that's that's massive. And then we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, you know, even if we have to, we can mountain tyrant over here to protect this guy. Although if he swings into it, he's got a leaf lurker finish off. It doesn't really matter anyways. But Brahmin's a thing. That's telling me he's got something. Maybe he knows he's got a leaf lurker in the deck somewhere. We have them surrounded. Okay. I will secure the area. Still even with those two. If we can get one more hit off this guy, I mean that puts us in a very good position. Okay. And we can dune smuggle him over too, so that is actually probably the best play. We will dune smuggle him over and then tyrant to protect him. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll just put all our eggs over here, that way we can red Brahmin. Yeah. There are ill winds this Because now he's going to start... ...coming over here, right? Yeah. Hope that's the right choice. And the only bad thing is we don't have any silence to take care of any guards over here. We do have some pretty massive creatures on the board. Crushing blow could help. But of course we do have red problem that silences, I forgot. So I wonder if he's got any of his legendaries yet. Because I haven't seen him play any legendaries. Of course, we haven't played any either, have we? We haven't seen one out of our two Tascats. I 
smash it will leave none standing. It's good for us. It's good for us. And we have this to seal the deal if we happen to trigger prophecy guard. Of course, still doesn't matter because we got red power. Alrighty. So let's just do that. Sweet. 47 life. Nice. We deserve that after that last win or loss. <laughs> Alright, so we can actually play some more because we're only at 10 minutes here. So see our little cheese wheels. And actually, when I was watching uh, the other content creators doing this, if you look real close, that looks like some pretty nasty cheese. It's like dark brown. Is it just like a chocolate covered coin that looks like a cheese wheel? You know those chocolate covered coins that you get? You should be able to get them at the dollar store or something. I don't know. That's what it looks like. It doesn't really look real foily though, right? But come on, that's some pretty pretty bad cheese. That's that's some chaos cheese right there. <laughs> chaos. Be here all week. And continue. Hey Michael, do me a favor and get me another <laughs> bottle of water. Take that one in the kitchen. Thanks, bud. Alrighty, delicious, delicious pastries have been provided. Eric, when you summon a creature here with four or more power, draw a card. Okay, we have plenty of those. Um, I haven't had an option to use these taste when it. So, how do these work? Okay, let's see here. Uh, shadow shift? No. We'll keep these two. Because we have the ring again. Um, thanks, buddy. So, I'm assuming if you swing into one of these. Fivefold venerations. Yes, yes, yes. May you walk on warm No, oh, two drops, that sucks. So I'm assuming when you swing into the one else, it heals your creature. Um, yeah, I've never used we one of these before. In so. the Alright, so perfect card to throw down. To contest that. And hopefully it procs. Oh, I stand on nice. Mercy. And I was just about ready to say, we'd never get the luck on those, so. There you go, buddy. Swinging with that and then that, right? <laughs> what does he got? Fall, okay. It's a good crushing blow target. Blood and fire. Mm, yeah, crushing blow, not modify. Forest is out. We could lay this dude down, right? Or do we save that? Let's. We're not in a bad position, and if best case for us, we can swing into his sweet roll and heal this guy, right? Hopefully. My sword hand itches. All right, so that's a good um, mummify target, right? At least I think. We could shift this dude over here and swing into that sweet roll. It's really not causing a threat over here yet. Let's do that. Yeah, and then we'll coin in our north point, dude. The forest is ours. Nice. So it does heal you. Pretty cool. Right on. Uh, now that I think about it, should I drop this guy down? With this, or should I just go for this? Yeah. You're with me, soldier. I await your command. Yeah. By this little time, anyways, right? And next turn we can mountain tyrant. If I fall, the hiss will be claim me. Part of me wants to mummify oh, that. Oh, mercy. Or actually, we should probably mummify that. Got lots of mummify he targets here. My no 
Let him draw a card. Let's see if we can go Young Mammoth when keep us. I think we don't waste our mummify yet. He's gonna swing into that. Mummify next turn. The forest is ours. <laughs> they make it too. I probably should have put Young Mammoth over here and put her cut purse over there. Um. He has a finish off. And we're in this trouble. one offers something tasty. Okay, at least we'll do this. Come on, it's a double negative. <laughs> the yeah. Okay. Is out. All right, now we're in trouble. That'll become a three. But that's got lethal. No mercy. By RK's beard, this day will be mine. Yeah. Fortunately, we're going to take some damage, but that's why I threw this guy down. Hopefully, keep us alive for a little bit. Keep thinking I have two task cats in my hand. So assuming he's gonna customers only. Okay, so I think we Take out his solder. Did it for us. Okay. Sorry, guys. Keep fiddling with these. All right. Come on. We need something good here. We gotta gotta get rid of that. I mean, we. Let's see. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We have to get rid of this. Um. If we put this down. I mean, don't really need to draw a card. Well, what do we do? We don't have anything huge to play after we drop this. Hmm. we do. Oh, you know what? I screwed up. Totally screwed up. I miscounted my mana. Thought I had enough to eat, can we use that coin and do our, I was going to mummify that, but he's probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. Oh well. He's got a card draw out of it. So let's see, Swamp Leviathan and Snake Tooth Necklace. Um, sounds really good. But we're gonna have to mummify that. So, okay. Unfortunately, he's gonna gain 7 life out of that. We could task cat it. I don't think that's the right choice, so I think we mummify it. And that leaves us with another play. Hmm. Is it one more? 
Yeah, let's get some more card draw. Okay. So we have some good late game stuff, so hopefully his hand is shit right now. Task cat. I oh, that reinforcement sucks. Well, this draw a card mechanic. Yes, that guy's got all sorts of value right there. Oh, that sucks. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Hmm, do we throw that down? No, I don't think we throw that down. It's not gonna. It's really nothing good to silence. All right, so nice. Um, Trice Reaper's okay with Fighters Guild. Desperately need our snake tooth. I mean, we only got eight cards left in the deck, and if we get snake tooth out, I don't know what happens. I haven't ever been in a situation where I've run out of cards. But if we start losing life, like most of these card games go, um, with snake tooth on the board, we can win the game. I'll kill you I mean, where you theoretically, stand. right? Cool. So Taz Cat is perfect for that. Yeah, because Swamp Leviathan's too slow. <laughs> Maybe not, right? So, what do we got? We can't even do, we can't do both. Hmm. It's tough. We could, well, we, yeah, we could do this combo. We could throw Taz Cat down and Fighter's Guild. Or, access charge. Do we not have to get rid of that? But if we don't, then he just slams it in the fighter's guild. And that's not to a creature, that's to face. So I think. I guess the option. Shadow Fane. Good time for that to show up. If I fall, they Hopefully he doesn't have any. Removal. <laughs> Although it wouldn't be game over if he did. Just okay, there's his removal for that. I'll kill you where you stand. Please don't trigger. I stand God's mercy. The forest is my strength and my courage. Man, oh man. We all return. Well. Hmm. I think we need to silence we that. Must be cleansed. Take this out. Oh, you dirty, rotten bastard. Oh well. Let's see what do we got here? Yeah, it's blinking red, so five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We don't have enough to throw all this off. Our only hope. Only hope. Silent Sats 5, 8, 9, 10. Still lethal. Yeah, we don't have enough. 
Enough magic there. That's our only hope. Yeah. Well, it has been an engaging hunt. Well, actually, never mind. It's five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, unless he has, a, if he has a way to buff him or any kind of face damage action in his hand, then it's game over. I mean, I would like to go one more turn to see what happens when he loses cards. I've never been in that situation. How many does he have? Four. Blood and Brian. Oh, it's a new card. Oh, come on, give me. Don't we have another? No, the we don't have any more. Fighters killed. Oh, do this one. <laughs> Damn it. A clash for the ages. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna call it quits, and we'll uh, we'll have another video coming, which you know the rate we're going will probably be our last because, uh, as I said before, the disclaimer, guys, I suck at arena. So I apologize. I wish I could bring you some some better videos with Arena, but uh, I'm just not that good at it. So um, we'll see you guys later.